things that help us and we can help you, okay? It can be the difference between a full life in prison or the death penalty. Joe, come on, just talk to us. Where are the bodies? Right now, we only have five bodies. All seen them in death for about a week. <coughs> Oddly enough, there's not a single drop of blood around the house. Not sure if the victims were killed somewhere else, then brought here. Jesus. Hey, get this one right here. It seems my death was suffocation. Has anybody been in the restroom yet? I didn't see any bodies, but go ahead and get pictures of all the rooms. It seems to be something in his mouth. Jesus! Did you check the XLR cable? Dave, you always got to check the XLR cable, okay? Yeah, the cable's fine. It was just the levels. We're good. Okay, do we need to do a sound check? Yeah. Okay, uh, this is Beth Stewart. We are in Houston uh, doing our final video project at the absolute last second. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm tired. I'm hungry. I want to go home. Good. All right. Good. Okay. Um, take one. Action. Are we like triple sure that everything is good? Yes. Go. Go. Hi. This is Beth Stewart with South Vista College. We are standing outside Houston, Texas, which is said to have one of the largest missing persons cases in the United States. We are at the exact location where a family went missing 20 years ago. Jack Stern, his wife, and their two children. The only thing left behind at the scene was their car. Not a single drop of blood was found. That was good. Let's uh, cut. How cut. was that? It was good. I think all we need now is B-roll, right? Yeah, let's, let's wrap it up. Let's go ahead. Let's go. Let's go! I don't know about this project. It's kind of lame. We can't just go to a spot where people went missing. Um, yes we can, and that's what we're doing. There's nothing lame about a missing family. 
It's like, I don't know if you've ever been friends with somebody that went missing, but I think it's an interesting story. I want to do something. Ah! Oh my God. Oh. I'm, Val, I'm. <laughs> you, uh... You're such a loser, John. <laughs> do you want to do something scary? Unique and scary. <laughs> okay, I have an idea, but let's grab food and then let's go. I'll see you in there. Then we can go to my apartment. What does he mean? Food made? sounds great. What is he? Guys? Hey, guys. <laughs> That's not funny. Guys? Help. Oh, fuck. Dave, can you please not film me eating? It's kind of weird. We need lots of behind-the-scenes footage for the Blu-ray. Trust me, no one's buying a student film. Nice shoes. You know, speaking of jobs, have you guys had any luck finding one? I've had internships or calls, but I haven't had an actual job. No, every time I say I'm graduating from South Vista College, they say they've never heard of it. People literally call it the 13th grade. <laughs> uh, but how old are you? 28. John, how old are you? Uh, 25. Dave? 30. See, I'm 36. It's just a college of misfits. Nowhere to go, nothing to do. But literally, we're just in the middle of nowhere filming for missing people. Well, yeah, it's not the easiest industry to get into. Most people that do film end up serving coffee or working as a florist. Florists make good money. What about you, Dave? Well, I did get a call back one time. Um, when I arrived to set, there was a guy wearing a superhero costume and a naked chick. Are you serious? Yup. Did you, you stayed, please tell me that you stayed. It was good money. <laughs> what was the name of it? Please tell me the name. The Incredible Bulk. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, okay. Serious question. I like it. You have to answer it. Are they still hiring? <laughs> uh, yeah, just excuse the mess. Like the wall. Yeah, but... Oh my god. <laughs> Val, what the hell is going on here? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I, I should have mentioned it before you guys got here, but I, I do have this slight obsession with serial killers. Um, to be fair, it did start very, like, Innocent, you know, true crime and stuff like that. But I, I did end up writing a serial killer. So. You wrote a serial killer. Cool. No, like you know, I wrote some serial killers. Just to put it out there. That's better. Yeah, um, but you're like the last person on earth I ever thought would be into this. Yeah. I know, but like, look at all the stuff that they send me. They send me like this, and they write me so many letters, and they're so nice, like, honestly. But they are. Uh, I'm just. They send me this stuff, and I guess they don't have anything better to do. Ah, uh, yeah, but prison. <laughs> I did want to show you guys that I joined this, like, secret online group. It's like a community of people like me, a community of serial killer. Lovers. No, like morbid curiosity lovers. Don't be ridiculous. Come on. Show us. Okay, okay. Uh, we use these um, like off the grid message boards, if that makes sense. The dark web. I, I'm not ridiculous. No, they, it's, it's like an anonymous chat, but there has been this chat that's been going crazy for like weeks. And it's this, it's like this urban legend of this serial killer guy who went and killed like 200 people over the last 20 years. Apparently he would kidnap them and then take them into his farm that's like in the middle of nowhere and he'd kill them. But that's not even the craziest part. The cra like he would actually broadcast these weird videos of their bodies. I don't know, like I guess on like an antenna television or something like that. But they did call him Mr. Creep. Sounds like creepy noodles bullshit. <laughs> okay, I'm just Yeah, you couldn't hide a serial killer that killed 200 people from the public. I'm just telling you what I read because... Okay. Yeah, it's all BS. It, it's not BS. 
do you guys want to see one of the videos? Apparently, one of the broadcasts were actually recorded. Yeah, whatever. Okay. okay. Can't wait. Creepy dolls? Check. Scary clowns? A mysterious broadcast signal sending out weird videos? Double check. Today I bring you an insanely creepy urban legend that's been flooding the deep spaces of the internet. The story of Mr. Creep. The story claims a mass murderer who wore an old clown mask and went around kidnapping people then taking them to a secret hideout in the middle of nowhere where he would murder them. The city kept the killer a secret in order not to cause a panic. He was said to broadcast weird videos with the dead bodies of victims. Some say the broadcast is still sending out signals to this day, but it hasn't been found. Only one recording of a broadcast exists today, and we're going to show it to you right now. But if he was alive, of course I would. Why? I don't know. He just... Like, I know he was messed up. And I don't know why. Because, like, it sounds crazy. But I feel like I could have helped him. Yeah. That's messed up. I, okay, I guess. They said that the broadcast was still running, right? People claim it is. Well, then all we would need is an antenna and an old TV. And we could keep this thing going, right? Does anyone even have one of those? I have one. Can we use it? Well, yeah, we just need an antenna. <laughs> Most kids learn their sex basics from Channel 99. 100%. Is that power? Okay. Cool. Jesus, we're gonna get channels from like China with that thing. I hope so. Definitely China with that thing. Mm. <clears throat> All right, I think everything is set up. Let's see how this looks. Uh, I think you have to, what is it? The channel scan, you gotta do the channel scan. I guess that settles it, I guess. Um, I'll, just internet clickbait. I'll just return this, I guess. Wait, wait, wait. What? I saw it too. That no one has ever been to just me.
damn it, it. I just bought this thing. Check the plug. It, it was plugged in. I mean, the antenna looks fine, but. Nice, Dave. Um, anything? No. Guys, we have to dig deeper into this. All right, There's done. history here. It's real. I know it. And do what? There's like no info on this guy. We wouldn't even know where to start looking. The abandoned police station. Wouldn't they take all their files with them when they left? No, it's just like abandoned hospitals. Like once state funding goes, like everyone just walks out and they leave everything, even patient files. Okay, well, we're not gonna break into an abandoned police station for a school project. But forget about the school project. This is something bigger. We could discover like the new Ted Bundy that the world never discovered. Exactly, we, we could make a real documentary with this. I mean, this would help our career way more than an uh, associate's degree from a community college. That we're never gonna That's use. Fine. I'm sold because honestly, we don't have any other job offers right now. Well, why don't we just take a day, think about it, and then come back tomorrow, and we can talk about your little mystery mission. But let's just go tonight. My adrenaline's running. Why wait? Yeah, I agree. I mean, I know none of us have jobs. I have a job. <laughs> Do you hear voices? What do they say? To kill. To kill people. Any certain people? Okay, and who do the voices come from? A floating head. A floating head? Yes. I mean, I really hope something happens. I do. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna park in the front. This is this is my pretty shady. So I'm gonna go to the side. This is good. Okay, so what's the plan here? Well, Dave knows the layout. You do? Well, not really, but okay, perfect. I'll tell you what, I'm going to stay in the car and keep a watch because trespassing is no joke. You guys go check it out and I'll keep it warm for you. All right, Val, Dave, let's go. Watch out for the spiders. It's creepy, okay. Let's just get in, get out, do this fast. Just do me it. Um, what are we looking for? Do you know his name? I know that he wore a creepy clown mask and went by the name Mr. Creep, but no, I don't know his name. Okay, just everyone start digging through stuff. I'm gonna look upstairs. This 
must be the holding area. the hell? Gross. What? Beth? She was just here. Val! Val! Help! Beth! Beth! Ah! Val? Val? 
I texted her that we were meeting here at nine and she replied with a smiley face. So I assume she got it. Okay. Let's start this. All right. Okay. This is most of what we found at the old police station. We have some old DV tapes, some pictures from the crime scenes, and these VHS tapes. And from what we read, he died from lethal injection back in 2002. And I guess his calling card was filming victims in weird, doing weird things. And he would broadcast those. So luckily, Dave had a DV camera so we can see what's on these tapes. It's a really old tape. I try another one. Here. Try this one. enough tapes for today. Yeah. Have um, you guys gone through all this stuff yet? Okay. Oh. Looks 
looks like he had a pen pal. That's an address not too far from here. You're not thinking of going there. She could have some real information on this guy. We're still waiting to hear back from Val. Let's see. Has she gotten back to you? No, nothing. Let's just go. I was very surprised when you called. It's been years since I was so deep into that story, everything going on. I even had a book about him ready for release, but the FBI wouldn't let me release it without giving me trouble. So it was true. The town was covering up this serial killer. Oh yeah. I believe it was very political. No mayor wants a serial killer on their books who's killed 200 people. But there's a more interesting story under all that. Like what? Joe. Joe Yates. That was his name. Just a normal family man with a boring job. Had a terrible childhood. How so? Well, his parents were pretty cruel. They wouldn't let him have any friends, wouldn't even let him leave the house. Sometimes they took turns beating him. And then one day, the parents just vanished. Lots of people had rough childhoods, myself included, and we didn't end up as mass murderers. Were you, were you starved? Beaten with a stick covered with thorns. Forced fed bleach. Locked in pitch black closets for weeks. And what about his face? Why did he have that, like, clown? Like a clown. Like a clown. <sighs> he wore the clown mask as a kid to escape from the real world, I suppose. His mother saw how much she loved it. So she burned it while he was still wearing it. The doctors tried to take it off, but it already fused to his face. How do you know so much about him? I met with him many, many times at the prison. He trusted me. T to many, he was a murderer, a killer. But to me, I believe most monsters are not born. They're made by evil parents. camera and everything. What story are you hoping to tell? We just want to tell the truth. We think the people of this town should know what really happened. Especially the people that still have loved ones that went missing, you know, they deserve answers. Oh uh, yes, answers. <laughs> the truth is what you seek, you came to the right place. I want to give you something before you leave. The manuscript to the book I was going to release. It has every detail I could collect from Joe. That would be amazing. Thank you so much. No problem. No point in wasting the book. Give me a minute and I'll Go dig it up. Thank you.
Yeah, I'm getting some major serial killer sympathy from her. This is pretty nasty. It's a nice place, though. John! It looks like it's gonna need stitches. It just put something on, it's fine. What the hell was that back there? I don't know anymore, it's just... I mean, we just saw a knife go through an old lady. Was I, I the only one that saw that? No, but she was, she was standing there. I mean, don't be stupid, you saw her get up. What do you want me to do? Did you try Val again? Anything? Voicemail. Let's, let's just go straight over there. Try the, yeah. Okay, hold on. Hold on a second. I think we got it. What the hell has she been doing? It looks like she's been trying to find out where the broadcast is coming from. She's got the 
software to track the signal. Let me see. Here. It's like 30 minutes away. Do you think she went there? Her car's not here. Fuck. We shouldn't have left her alone. I knew she wasn't okay. We have to go find her. Now? Yes! Now! We have to find her and keep this going. Keep what going? This stupid video? That was missing. We need to call the cops. Call the cops? They won't do anything for 48 hours and then what? We tell them we killed an old lady and she came back to life? No, you killed an old lady. I... Val is fine. We need to find her and keep filming everything. For what? Look, I know it sounds crazy, but when, when this is all over and Val is safe, we are going to have film history on our hands. I think you guys have lost your fucking minds. Now, if you want to go running through the woods, be my guest. But I'm done with this shit. I'm not doing it anymore. now. Okay, we don't know who or what is out there. Our main goal is to find Val and bring her back. Each of us is going to have a video camera and a flashlight so that we can see what we're filming. Uh, John, did you check Google Maps? Uh, yeah, but it was too hard to make anything out. It's mostly covered by trees. Okay, when we get there, we're going to split up into three. And I brought these... Just, if you find something, if you need help, just give it a blow and we should be able to hear it from up to half a mile away. <whistles> Dave? It works. Right. What happens if we see? Then we run.
I, John, I, turn I on the lights! Turn on the fucking lights! I can't. I don't see her anywhere. Where should we go? Should we just... I thought we parked around here. Are you sure this is it? I... What, what if this... What if this was Val? The whole thing was... What if it was Val? No, man, she wouldn't do that. From day one, she's been leading us on this thing. She's the one who knew about the murder. She's the one who showed us the video. She's the one who had the location. We're the ones who followed her. Now we can't find the fucking car. Is that Beth? Beth! Beth! John, wait. Come on, man, wait up. John! John! Oh my god. Dave! Dave, what happened? Where's John? I don't know. He tried to come find you after he heard your whistle. My whistle? It's broken! It doesn't work! Right, let's just keep going. We need to go up this river, and the farm should be right there. No, Beth, I think we need to find John and then get out of here. It's okay, John's fine. We just need to stick together. What is that? Oh my god. Is that a body? Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And the bodies. Where did you put the bodies? Just give us a location, Joe. Bodies. Yes, where are they buried? Sacred ground. Joe, come on. The bodies belong to the families. They deserve to rest in peace, don't you agree? No. Their bodies, their souls, they belong to me. Sorry, guys. What the fuck? Hurry up! Oh God, Beth, no, we need to get out of here. It's a fucking crime scene. Is that Val? She has to be around here somewhere. In the building, in the building nearby, Val! Val!
<laughs> Bow. Hey, Val. Val! Hey, Val. What is wrong with... Dave? serious crimes here. Crimes this country has never seen before. There's a very high chance you'll get the death penalty. Does that worry you? No. 
why. God has promised me eternal life. God doesn't help killers. My God is different. And why is that? continue their search for a group of college students in Harris County. Details are still pretty bare, but so far this is what we know. A call came into dispatch around 2 p.m. on Saturday when a woman found an abandoned vehicle on the side of the road near Humboldt, Texas. According to police, Beth Stewart, Val Peterson, John Riddell, and Dave Burke, students at South Vista Community College, were filming a school project and have been missing for almost a week. Police say they believe this was their vehicle and have found a backpack inside the trunk with their film equipment, flashlights, and oddly, a doll. Friends of the students say the group was filming a documentary of the rumored murderer Joe Yates, an internet-fueled story of a psychotic serial killer who people claim killed hundreds in this area over 20 years ago. Police say there is no connection and that Joe Yates never existed.
Help me. 